opera is complete. I hear your opera is complete. I've never heard my audition now. Yes, 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 Dean. I'm a crowd, of course, of course. But I'm afraid there is something I have to explain to you, of course. Is that, well, it's one thing for me to finish writing it, but it's an entirely different story uh, for us to know whether the opera will actually be performed or not. Because, well, yes, well, because it's not just you and I in this, of course. We have, well, the instruments, all the musicians, the orchestra, the other singers, dancers, if you want dance in it. Uh, well, and um, these people have to learn how to do what they do, and that does take money. And I suppose after they learn what they learn how to do what they do, they expect to get paid for it? Uh, that is sometimes a risk of the business, yes. yes. <laughs> That's a cost. That's a cost. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, pardon me if I use the mic. Um, dazzling performances do not happen by accident. And so we are here to talk to you about what's not an accident. <laughs> um, uh, the, the people that, the, the process of becoming a musician is quite a process. And uh, so it is up to audiences and generous benefactors to help the arts continue in our society. You all know this. Uh, so I just want to take this opportunity, old divas have to read their notes because we can't remember everything. Um, I want to take this opportunity to th thank our sponsors for tonight, Shadal and Shadal, the Sisters of the Holy Names, the Saline Foundation, and the Mukagawa Fort Wright Institute. We are so grateful for this. I was saying, dazzling performances do not happen by accident. There are, you know, wonderful moments of uh, inspiration and creativity when we're on stage performing, and we've seen some fantastic uh, examples of that tonight. But there are all the moments before this where hours and hours in the studio with your teacher and hours and hours of practice by yourself. That's the infrastructure of a great performance like we have seen tonight. And at Holy Names Music Center, that's what we do. We build the infrastructure, we build musicians. We don't build bridges and highways, we build musicians. And this is, this is our mission, this is our goal, and it's our joy, but we do need support to keep the, uh, the organization going. Um, it's quite wonderful, Holy Names, has been a name in Spokane for over 125 years, or at least 125 years. And for the last 25 years, uh, Holy Names Music Center has been a community music school. And it's the, it's the legacy of the Sisters of the Holy Names that we carry forward as a community music school. And so, as a generous um, support of our, of our mission to keep music instruction going in Spokane, uh, the Sisters of the Holy Names have given us, in honor of our 25th anniversary as a community music school, a $2,500 gift to keep us going this year. So. And I just wonder if there's anybody out there that would like to match that $2,500 gift. Anybody? Should I wait? Should I? I'll wait. No. So uh, what I want to say is a gift in any amount and every amount is important to us because it's, it, it qualifies as support emotionally and, and monetarily. Um, you know, I just wonder if there's anybody out here that would like to stand. You've been sitting for an I hour. I would like to stand and support Holy Name. Listen to that. Are there others? I hear some other people standing. I see some people standing. So there's another person standing. So what I want to say is giving money to Holy Names is easy. And sometimes it's fun. So first what you do is you stand, or you can stand metaphorically if you don't want to stand. And then you, but when you stand, it's really easy to reach down into your pocket or into your purse and you pick up your checkbook. And you could write a check right now to Holy Names Music Center if you like. Um, 
uh, for any amount that you like, and we would love that. Um, or if anyone here has brought a big bag of money, then you just reach down into the bag of money and you pull out, you know, however much you would like to give. And there are some lovely board members that are circulating through the auditorium. So should you want to hand over some bags of money, they will be happy to take them. Um, you know, giving money to Holy Names is uh, supports all kinds of things. It supports oh, and zither lessons and dark lines, blood lines, the beautiful instrument. Yeah. And, and our, our outreach, our guitars for vets, our kinder music for our underserved families, um, not to mention, you know, voice lessons and piano tuning budget and just everything that costs to keep a, a music school going. Um, what did you say? Health? Trout food, yes. The trout food is really expensive to you. That's a big budget line item in our in our school. So so uh, anyway, uh, we we really need your support and we need it tonight, but we need it anytime. So if you go home and you have a dream about trout tonight, you you could wake up in the morning and send us a check. That would be good too. We would we would just always welcome uh, any kind of support. So. What do you say, Christopher? Should we give him a taste of the original 12th quintet? That sounds like an excellent idea. Right. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank <laughs> you. 